I just sat down because I was tired. <laughs> of course. We've been allowed to listen to our stories and everything. I know you have time's limited, so. So, pretty good, pretty good. Any breakthroughs this weekend as far as what you're looking for? Coming up? Yeah. Uh, we hope so. Um, as we talked about before, you know, we got the kick the rust off a little bit, got things moving. And so now um, with a level of competition, it just brings a whole different feel to the meet. So, um, you know, our kids um, have always uh, rise to the level of the competition and uh, responded to it. And so I guess that's a big thing, Nate, is, hey, we've got some great programs coming in, uh, some of the best, uh, some of the blue bloods. Uh, when you look at uh, Oregon and you look at Florida, and you look at LSU and you look at Arkansas, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So uh, we just hope that our guys will step up. Uh, we expect them to step up and, uh, you know, make make forward progress, you know, uh, for this time of year. I feel this is kind of a mini preview of the national. I, th I think so. You're going to see some great athletes uh, competing this weekend. Um, and it's still it's still early. It's January. But this this season really creeps up on you right at the end. I mean, after this weekend, it's going to fly by. So I'm sure that, um, you know, kids, uh, some coaches might be moving some of their athletes around here and there a little bit from last weekend. But uh, for the most part, um, you know, you're going to see you know, a lot of these great athletes compete this weekend, what you'll see at the national championships. So like Holloway, for example, let's take Grant Holloway in the hurdles. Um, you know, he might not run the hurdles, but he'll long jump his other, his other great event, and he might run on a relay. So um, it's going to be a great opportunity to preview what's coming down the, down the line in the SEC and the, the NCAA championship. They got four major conferences represented. You got the SEC, MC, Pac-12, Big 12, Big 10, I guess. I mean, you, you like having that mixture of oh, teams? You know, absolutely. And I, and I hope that's – I try to touch on it a little bit. I hope that's what track brings to the table for Fayetteville and for the University of Arkansas. Um, we always have. We're continuing to do it, and that is to bring uh, the greatest, uh, you know, I mentioned the Blue Bloods, but schools from the West Coast, the East Coast, the Southeast, um, and coming in, you're going to see it at Tyson, too, in a few weeks, um, uh, you know, some more West Coast teams. But I hope that's what we bring to the table, is that not only are we putting a great product out there, uh, but we're attracting great people to um, the University of Arkansas and having them compete on our home facilities. So extremely pleased to have these conferences represented, and, and you're going to see more of it. You know, Oakland uh, starts this weekend. They talk about horse racing. They, they step up in class. Um, you, they maybe go from a claiming race to a stakes race. Do you feel like you guys are stepping up in class this weekend from that opening rust buster? Meet? A absolutely. Let's uh, let's put the rust buster term away okay. and uh, let's uh, you know let's we're moving forward and and trying to uh, to you know uh, you know have a really good meet this weekend and compete again. We're so dialed into. Um, school records and NCAA performances and all that stuff. And really, again, uh, I want to see, I would like to see that, but I want to see our kids compete. I, th I don't think the times come first. I think if you compete hard, you know, the good performances will follow. Those good individual stats will follow. So I'm looking for our kids um, to be great competitors this weekend and, and find out where we're at. This is a sport meet. Do you take much stock in that? Or everyone's what? what we're scoring the meat, um, uh, you know, because we think it's it's in, it's important to practice what you're going to do at the SEC championship. Um, but uh, you know, we might not have our lineup put together like the SEC meet. But I'm always have a philosophy of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you have a really good team, you should be able to move guys around and still score a lot of points. If you got great athletes, um, uh, you should be able to move around, do something different, and still score a lot of points. And so, it is a meaningful um, um, endeavor to score this meet um, and to see and see how we match up and um, to leave, uh, you know, with who won and who lost. And I think that's sometimes gets missing in track and field. Um, is who won and who lost. It's, uh, 
you know, you don't see a baseball game where they just have strikeouts and walks and stolen bases and those types of things. Um, uh, there's, there's an actual score. And so I, I, I'm a personal believer that, hey, no matter what time of year, score a meet uh, whenever you can um, and see where you stand. I'm pretty good.